Deep within the intricate landscape of the female reproductive system, a remarkable journey unfolds. It is a race against time, a test of endurance, a competition of epic proportions. Over 1,500 tiny sperm, each carrying the blueprint for a potential human life, embark on a perilous quest. Their destination, a single solitary egg awaiting fertilization. The journey begins with a burst of energy as the sperm are released. They are propelled forward, a microscopic armada navigating a vast and unfamiliar world. Their objective is clear, to reach the egg and merge with it, creating the spark of new life. But the path ahead is fraught with challenges. It is a journey filled with obstacles and dangers, a true testament to the resilience of nature. Only the strongest and most determined will survive this arduous trek. For these tiny travelers, the stakes could not be higher. The future of a human life hangs in the balance. Let the race begin. The female reproductive tract is a complex and ever-changing environment. For the sperm, it presents a series of daunting obstacles. The cervix, the gateway to the uterus, is a narrow passage filled with thick mucus. This mucus, while protecting the female body from harmful bacteria, acts as a barrier for the sperm. Undeterred, they press on, their tiny tails whipping back and forth with incredible force. They squeeze through narrow openings, navigate treacherous currents and battle against the flow of bodily fluids. Many succumb to exhaustion, their journey cut short. But for those who persevere, the quest continues. Each twist and turn presents a new challenge. A test of their resilience and adaptability, they rely on their innate sense of direction guided by chemical signals released by the egg. It is a journey of extraordinary navigation, a testament to the power of instinct and the drive to survive. The fallopian tubes, delicate pathways leading to the egg's location are the site of the final showdown. Here the competition reaches its peak. Hundreds of sperm, having overcome countless obstacles, converge on the egg, their movements becoming increasingly frantic. They surround the egg, a pearly orb of immense potential, each vying for the ultimate prize, the chance to pass on their genetic material. Enzymes released from the sperm heads work tirelessly to break down the egg's protective outer layer. It is a battle of microscopic proportions, a fight for survival and the continuation of life itself. Finally, a single sperm, the victor in this epic race, breaches the egg's defenses. It penetrates the outer layer, its genetic material merging with that of the egg. In that instant, a new life is conceived. The other sperm, their purpose fulfilled, gradually cease their frantic movements. The race is over. A winner has been declared. The moment of fertilization is just the beginning. The newly formed zygote, a single cell containing the combined genetic material of both parents, embarks on a journey of rapid growth and development. It begins to divide, first into two cells, then four, then eight, and so on. This process of cell division, fueled by a constant supply of nutrients from the mother's body, continues at an astonishing rate. As the zygote travels down the fallopian tube towards the uterus, it transforms into a cluster of cells known as a marula. Within the marula, a remarkable transformation is taking place. The cells begin to differentiate, taking on specialized roles. A fluid-filled cavity forms within the cluster, eventually developing into the blastocyst, a hollow sphere of cells with an inner cell mass that will eventually become the embryo. The stage is set for the next crucial step implantation. Section 5. Making a home. The blastocyst's journey to implantation. The journey from fallopian tube to uterus is a delicate one. The blastocyst, now a complex structure of hundreds of cells, must safely reach the uterine lining and attach itself securely. This process, known as implantation, is a critical milestone in the development of a new life. The uterine lining, enriched with blood and nutrients in preparation for pregnancy, provides the ideal environment for the blastocyst to thrive. The blastocyst burrows deep into the lining, anchoring itself firmly in place. This connection between the blastocyst and the mother's body will eventually develop into the placenta, the lifeline that will nourish and sustain the growing baby throughout the pregnancy. With implantation complete, the blastocyst is officially considered an embryo. 
the journey from a single fertilized egg to a multicellular organism capable of interacting with its environment has been nothing short of remarkable. And yet, this is just the beginning. Section 6, the blueprint of life from embryo to fetus. The embryonic period, spanning from implantation to about the eighth week of pregnancy, is a time of rapid growth and organ development. During these crucial weeks, the basic blueprint of the human body is laid down with incredible precision. Cells continue to divide and differentiate at an astonishing rate, forming the foundation for all the major organ systems. The heart, the brain, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys, all begin to take shape during this critical period. By the end of the embryonic period, the embryo is transformed into a recognizable human form, now known as a fetus. The stage is set for the next phase of development, a period of refinement and maturation as the fetus prepares for life outside the womb. Section 7, a symphony of development, the first heartbeat and beyond. The fetal period, from the ninth week of pregnancy until birth, is a time of incredible growth and maturation. The fetus grows rapidly in size and weight. Its organs continue to develop and refine their functions. It is a period of remarkable transformation, a testament to the awe-inspiring power of nature. One of the most exhilarating milestones of this period is the first detectable heartbeat, typically occurring around the sixth week of pregnancy. This faint rhythmic thump, a testament to the developing cardiovascular system, marks a pivotal moment in the journey of life. The senses begin to develop, allowing the fetus to experience its surroundings in new and profound ways. The fetus can hear sounds from the outside world, muffled but distinct. It can sense light and darkness. It can even taste the amniotic fluid that surrounds it, a subtle preview of the flavors it will experience after birth. Section eight, the miracle of movement, the fetus comes alive. As the weeks progress, the fetus's movements become more coordinated and purposeful. What began as subtle flutters evolve into kicks, punches and even somersaults. The mother can feel these movements, a tangible reminder of the life growing inside her. These movements are not just random twitches, they are essential for the fetus's physical development, strengthening muscles and bones. They also reflect the developing brain as the fetus begins to control its movements with increasing precision. The fetus develops sleep-wake cycles, spending a significant portion of its time sleeping. It even dreams, its brain waves showing patterns similar to those of a dreaming newborn. The womb, once thought of as a silent and passive environment, is revealed to be a dynamic and stimulating world for the developing fetus. Section 9. The Final Act. Labor and the Arrival of a New Life. As the pregnancy reaches its culmination, the fetus is fully developed and ready for life outside the womb. The mother's body in sync with the baby's readiness begins the process of labor. A series of powerful contractions designed to guide the baby through the birth canal and into the world. Labor is a physically and emotionally demanding experience, a testament to the strength and resilience of both mother and baby, but it is also a time of great anticipation and joy as the long-awaited moment of birth draws near. With each contraction, the baby is propelled further down the birth canal, closer to taking its first breath. The moment of birth when the baby emerges from the womb and into the world is nothing short of miraculous. It is a moment of profound transformation, a celebration of life's enduring power. Section 10, a journey of resilience and wonder, celebrating the miracle of birth. The journey from conception to birth is a testament to the incredible forces of nature, a symphony of biological processes orchestrated with breathtaking precision. It is a story of resilience and determination, of growth and transformation, of the awe-inspiring power of life itself. From the moment of fertilization, when a single sperm out of millions successfully merges with an egg, to the climactic moment of birth, the development of a new life is a continuous unfolding of wonders. Each stage of this journey, from zygote to embryo to fetus, is marked by significant milestones, each a testament to the intricate dance of genes and environment. The journey doesn't end with birth. It is merely the beginning of a new chapter, filled with its own unique challenges and triumphs. 
but the miracle of life, the incredible journey from conception to birth, serves as a constant reminder of the preciousness and resilience of all living things. Section 11, The Legacy of Life, A Continuous Cycle of Beginnings. The birth of a child is not just a singular event, but a link in the continuous chain of life that stretches back through millennia. It is a testament to the power of creation, the enduring legacy passed down from one generation to the next. As we marvel at the miracle of birth, let us remember that each new life holds within it the potential to shape the future, to leave its own unique mark on the world. And so, the cycle continues, a testament to the enduring power of life's incredible journey. The journey from conception to birth, a story etched into the very fabric of our being, is a testament to the incredible forces that shape us, connect us and remind us of the profound beauty and wonder of life itself.